I can't believe my eyes. Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, I have to let you guys know we are doing a Nintendo Switch OLED giveaway. That's right, we're giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED console. One, subscribe to the channel right now. Two, make sure you follow me on Twitter for the giveaway and thumbs up, like this video. Let's go, 300 likes, let's do it. All right, we have some dope, dope, dope Switch gaming news this one i don't know how i missed this there is supposedly a pretty big leak on the internet of nintendo's big 2022 games that are planned to release in 2022 so this leak coming from industry insider all right now i already know before you guys already like all right we all, all these industry insiders took a big L with a Switch OLED. Everybody was saying it's going to be 4K. Everybody was saying it's going to be a more powerful console, and it didn't happen. But let's not get amnesia and forget that a lot of rumors and leaks have come in true um, in the past. So take this with a grain of salt. So, Industry ins ins Insider Marco Maro has leaked Nintendo's alleged 2022 release schedule. Check out these games. First, a new 2D Donkey Kong game. Bruh. For those of you that don't know, if you have a Switch and you have not ever, if you've never played Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, keep this video playing so you can still listen and go and download this game. You'll thank me later. This is one of the best 2D games ever made. So he says, a new 2D Donkey Kong game, brand new adventure, is one of the big hits for next year. Still unclear when, when, since there was planned for this holiday season time ago, but will make sense to use it at closing or opening fiscal year. Splatoon 3 should come early next summer. We already know Splatoon um, um, it has been announced coming next year. And Splatoon 3, in the past, um, Splatoon games have launched during the summer, so, all right, we'll see. All right, bro, but it gets even better. The next game, Pikmin, what, Pikmin 4. This game has been long rumored, longly anticipated. Written, this is what he says. Um, Rhythm Paradise Heaven gets a green light for a new entry for Switch months ago, but I shouldn't expect it until 2023. Pikmin 4 was a game with many years of work behind it and one unofficial restart around 2627, similar to Metro Prime 4. Finally, the game is very close to being finished. Interesting, because Miyamoto said years ago, Pikmin 4 was close to being completed. According to this dude, the reason why we never got what Miyamoto said was the game got a restart similar to what happened to Metroid Prime 4. Now, every Pikmin game has been lit, has been known for being graphically impressive. And so Pikmin 3 was dope on the Wii U. The remake, I didn't play the remake on the Switch. I may eventually go back and beat it. It's a short game. But... Pikmin 4 would be lit, bro. Add multiplayer. Online multiplayer for Pikmin would be amazing, bro. That bingo battle mode, that whole 2D local multiplayer mode, um, dope with online. And so, P 
Pikmin. Pikmin, a new Pikmin game. Bro. Next. A new Kirby game. This is what he says. Kirby's next big adventure is something to be expected in 2022. The game was designed as a 3D adventure with RPG elements. So Kirby's leaving the 2D plane, going full out 3D, and will have RPG elements. I think, was it the Nintendo 64? I forgot the name of the game. Maybe it could be that sort of isometric type Kirby game. Well, who knows? But a new Kirby game with some RPG elements would be, would be, would be dope. The next one, and I talked about this already on my channel. You already know how I roll with Metroid. My most anticipated game for the Switch is Metroid Prime 4. Metro Dread looks cool, and I, I am hyped for it. It's a 2D Metroid game. Super Metroid, one of the best Metroid games ever made. But Metroid Prime 4, bro. Go all out, Nintendo. Multiplayer, Nintendo. Dope story, Nintendo. Just make it good, Nintendo. But he's saying Metroid Prime Collection should be ready in the 1H 2022. First half, first half, 2022. Even if it's finished since ages, it's been finished. And I've said that. This is a game that Nintendo has been sitting on. I heard they include more stuff since then. So it's not 100% Metroid Prime Trilogy Wii HD. Mm, they're going to include more stuff. That's interesting. Also, we're going to get the first look at Metroid Prime 4 next year. That means I'm thinking Metroid Prime 4 2023. If we're going to get the first lick next year, then we're getting closer to a complete. Check this out. He's saying the game is 65% of its development cycle. That Metroid Prime 4 is 65% complete. Bro, oh, y'all don't understand, man. Y'all don't understand, bro. Uh, Return will whet my appetite. But, man, <laughs> it's nothing like a Metroid game in the atmosphere of metroid Whew. all right next bro he continues to drop some bombs legend of zelda a new zelda um a remake of a classic zelda game this is what he says as i said before even if nintendo said no more zelda for the anniversary Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are done for a while, so they will come sooner than later. Because you got to think about it. Wind Waker was already remade in HD. So that is a just a matter of pushing the button. Some of these games, Nintendo just sitting on at the right time. Because Wind Waker, it looked great on the Wii U. Put it to the Switch, it's going to be easy, no-brainer. All right. This is what he says. Um, our done will come later. Don't know anything about Ocarina of Time and uh, Majora's Mask HD, but something about the Nintendo 60 version and 64 version that may maybe we will know later this year. Interesting, bro. You know, a game would be dope. I saw this on Twitter. Uh, somebody posted something about Minish Cap remade, bro. Just imagine Minish Cap with this art style of um link's awakening on the switch art style that would be dope minish cap was lit back in the day so um expect some more zelda games to come out and this is what he says as i stated a year ago there is a remake for oracles of ages seasons in the works for 2022 2023 he's standing by it there were plans to include a third game that was planned originally for the game boy collection uh what it's clear at least soon is since it start it will be separate releases so oracle of ages and seasons uh in the works of 2023 those were dope i wasn't as big with the handheld zelda games as i were am with the home console ones but i would take those bro bro this is some dope dope you know what we need? A Force. Why don't we have a Switch Four Swords game? 
four joy cons bro zelda four swords would be the ultimate it's a no-brainer for the switch with this art style online multiplayer four swords zelda game that really should have already happened bro <sighs> and last but not least he's saying that there's going to be a detective pikachu 2 game coming out on the switch so um dope 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 leak the possibilities are endless so what do you guys think of the switch 2022 lineup of game if all of this is true another big year for nintendo and i'm going to add we're going to get a switch pro in 2022 we're finally going to get a more powerful console what do you guys think about all of this sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy